Hey everybody, Sean here with Revealing Truth, and yes, you read that headline correctly, so let's jump right in. So there's been a few posts online about Lady Gaga regretting that she sold her soul to Illuminati dark forces. And if we scroll down, we can get more information. This is in connection with an upcoming documentary called Gaga Five Foot Star. There's been many stars that have claimed to have sold their souls. People like Kanye West. And if you want a great documentary on this topic, watch They Sold Their Souls for Rock and Roll by Joe Schimmel with Good Fight Ministries. It's 10 hours of stuff that will amaze you. I'll leave a link for the YouTube version, or you can go to their site and see many other great videos. I'll leave that link as well. But getting back to the Gaga story, she also discusses the dark spirituality that she invited into her body during satanic rituals early on in her career. Note, satanic rituals and Illuminati are connected. I'll leave the link for this whole article as well so you can read it. But she goes on to tell the story of how she got involved, saying things like, I got down on my knees and asked him who I should praise. I told him I'd do anything. As many have stated after making their deals with the devil, it may give them special powers, outer beauty, talent, and wealth for a while, but it doesn't last. They struggle with dark forces and eventually want to break their contract with the dark prince. And unfortunately, many wind up committing suicide or destroying themselves with substance abuse. But here's the real question we should answer. Can someone actually sell their soul? The short answer is no. We cannot sell our souls to Satan or the Illuminati in the sense that they own them because all souls and where they spend eternity belong to God alone as we see in Ezekiel 18. However, someone can sell their soul in the sense that all people have the freedom to willfully submit themselves to Satan's service, which ultimately leads to suffering and even greater consequence, that is, eternity in hell. We see in 1 Kings 21 that someone can sell themselves to do evil. Jesus even said in Matthew 16 that someone could forfeit their souls to Satan's world system. The good news is that there are great testimonies online of people that had dedicated themselves to a life of witchcraft and Satanism, rejected Christ and practiced everything opposing him. Yet, in God's goodness, he drew these people out of these practices and they live now as powerful testimonies that God is willing to save even those that we would consider beyond hope. Unfortunately, the people that have made these sinister deals for fame and fortune don't understand that the devil's deal is based on lies. And if they would truly repent and turn to Jesus Christ, who paid our fine with his blood on the cross, they too could be forgiven and set free from these so-called contracts they've made. So whether it be Lady Gaga or anybody listening to this now, Realize that no matter how bad you may think you've blown it, there is always hope in Jesus Christ. Turn to God today. Admit that you've sinned, that is, broken his laws, things like lying, stealing, lusting, and that you deserve to be punished because he is a good God. But you believe Jesus paid your fine on the cross, just like someone paying a fine for somebody in a courtroom. Tell God that you're thankful for this and want to serve him with your life. Do this now, and you too can know that when you die, you will not get what you deserve, which is hell. But by God's grace and through faith in Jesus, you will spend eternity with him in heaven. So... We'll leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.